hello friends welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video before getting into this so actually I am planning to do exam preparation videos so if you want any course video once message me regarding which course do you want I have already made videos for cloud computing and IOT so if you want a air pollution course also once message me so if it is your semester subject try to join your friends also so that if there is enough members i will try to do the exam preparation videos guys i will give you the mcqs which is completely nptl exam oriented so it will be beneficial for you so if you want to join click on join button to get the packages so you can select either 89 rupees or 119 rupees if you want live videos if i upload anything you can get you can get that for 119 rupees or if you wanted only recorded preparation videos you will get for 89 per month only so it, after selecting 89 per month pack you click on join and make payment that's it you will get included into members only pack so you can get access to all these videos not only just one subject videos you can get access to all subject preparation videos for 89 rupees only so it is very less price guys so please try to join and get good marks in this so hope you select the right choice and use this opportunity to the great extent so let's get back to the video <coughs> so this is week 7 assignment of air pollution and control course so guys uh, I hope every solution is 100% correct but if you want to suggest, suggest me any solution you can do that in the comment section or if I find any update later i will do that update in the comment section so final sub before fi final submission once go to the comment section to note any updates so first question which of the following health effects may show up shortly after a single exposure to an air pollutant so for first question the correct answer is first option short term health effect or it is also called as immediate health effect not intermediate it is immediate or short term so option one for first question first option is correct <coughs> moving on to the second question which of the following pollutants exposure causes mesothelium a rare form of cancer that is found in the thin lining of the lung, chest, abdomen and heart. So for second question, the correct answer is fourth option, asbestos. So due to asbestos pollution, we will uh, there is a chance to get mesothelioma. So mark fourth option. Moving on to the third one, biomarkers such as nicotine and cotinine in the saliva, blood and urine are used to detect the recent exposure to. So what these will detect? So those will detect second hand smoke. So mark first option as correct answer for third question. Moving on to the fourth one, a dash samplers used for assessment of NO2 are low sensitivity, sensitivity samplers suitable for long term monitoring. So for fourth question, the correct answer is fourth option, tube type samplers, tube type samplers. So mark fourth option as correct answer for fourth question. Moving on to the fifth one. Which of the following indoor air modeling programs or tools developed to assist in the understand in understanding indoor air pollution was not developed by EPA? So we know some uh, tools developed by EPA. What are those tools? 
indoor air quality and inhalation exposure IAQX and ISVOC and PARAMS these three are developed by EPA so the remaining one that is Venclim is not developed by EPA so mark fourth option as correct answer for fifth question also moving on to the sixth question So match the sortable options with their box more graphical representation. Guys, we know that displacement will be represented by this first box. So P goes to 1 and next cavity. Cavity goes to the second box. This one that means Q goes to 2 and piston piston goes to fourth one that means R goes to 4 and remaining S goes to 3 so 1 2 4 3 the option is third one so mark third option third option as correct answer <coughs> moving on to the seventh question the HVAC system is used to improve indoor air quality wherein HVAC refers to so what is mean by HVAC so H means heating H means heating V means ventilation A means I mean AC means air conditioning so what is the answer third option so mark third option as correct answer for seventh question moving on to the eighth one now eighth question which of the following air cleaning technologies targets to clean microbes in an indoor environment so for eighth question the correct answer is second option ultraviolet germicidal irradiation uvgi so mark second option Moving on to the ninth one. In the case study entitled <coughs> Personal Exposure to Fine Particles, which of the following micro environment was not included? So we know what are the included ones houses, workplaces, high traffic areas, and the other one is industrialized areas, maybe. But they have given hospital zones. This is not included in the case study so answer is fourth option moving on to the final question of the assignment that is tenth question tenth question now in the case study entitled personal exposure to fine particles a palm sized optical sensor was used specifically designed to give the mass concentration of dash so it will give whose mass concentration it gives pm 2.5 mass concentration in mu g by meter cube so mark first option so guys these are the solutions for week 7 assignment hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends so as i said in the above if you want to join for preparation mcqs regarding any course first of all message me in the comment section if you have enough members for the air pollution course because it may be subject in your semester you can join in this course after me messaging me so friends 
hope this video helpful for you keep supporting us like this until the next video goodbye thank you